Diagnosed with a terminal illness, top hit man decides to take matters into his own hands and take a hit out on himself. However, when the very men he, he hires also target his ex-girlfriend, he must fend off an army of assassins and win back the love of his life before it's too late. What a plot for this new film, The Killer's Game. Joining us now, we've got the director, JJ, along with one of the stars, Marco. Welcome. Thank you for taking hey. the time to chat with us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So, JJ, director, tell us from your perspective, what is this movie all about? Well, actually, it's a love story that has a head-on collision with a fun action movie with a lot of cool ca assassin characters. Yeah, it sounds fun, even just from the setup. Yeah. I know, what did you enjoy maybe working with this cast? How was that for you? So, you know, getting the movie was a big win for me because uh, I didn't expect I'd be directing this long. But uh, getting Dave Batista was like winning the lottery. And once I got Dave Batista involved, uh, I just went out to all my friends that I've been working with for the past 30 plus years with like Marco Zoror, Scott Atkins, Terry Crews, Palm Clementi. We reached out to Ben Kingsley. We got Sophia Batella. I just, you know, reached out to my people that I've been working with. So watching this all come together and, and ha having, you know, 42 days to shoot it, but it was a real run and gun and it was a real hoot. So I'm just really grateful we got to do it and I'm super excited for people to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, what a cast and it looks yes. slick stylish it looks like it moves i mean i can't wait to check this it one out it looks McKenzie. really exciting yeah yeah so marco can you tell us about your character i'm emilio el botas i'm the flamenco dancer assassin Ooh. so when jj told me it's like marco i need passion i need fire i need music <laughs> you know and i'm like oh wow okay so it was a you know when jj called you you know you know that you're always gonna get you know you're gonna bring your your game to the next level. So you're gonna he's gonna, always gonna push yourself. So I'm like, wow. Okay. So we started research, and and then you know we start like, okay, how are we gonna mix? How I'm gonna mix the flamenco, like the dancing and and all this, and make it into a little weapon. So that was a pretty fun process, and I'm happy. I'm very excited to people to see this. You know. Yeah, yeah we're so, excited to see it too. Absolutely. So talking about your research, what else did you kind of do to prepare for this role? Well, you know, for me, it was creating the why this guy danced flamenco. Like, what was the reason why he... So then, you know, we start creating, like, a backstory, you know. Uh, okay, you know, maybe, you know, he, his love, you know, of his life, they, they used to dance together, and she gets killed. So now, every time he goes and kills an assassin, it's like repeating his last dance with his love. So that's why the passion came in and, and the movement and all that. And actually, because of that you know, we picked flamenco because flamenco is very stylish, it's very elegant, you know, and, I, I, and to mix those two worlds, like to make a flamenco and, and, on, and bring that rhythm and mix it up with the martial arts, it was, a, it was an amazing challenge, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah it, looks, it looks so amazing. What was it like working with this team for you? It was great, you know. I, you know, I was I was very blessed to be able to have the opportunity to go against Dave in a in a fight scene like that. You know, it's like and it's an amazing fight scene. It's a lot of was a, was very intense. You know, Dave is an amazing athlete, uh, and me as a martial artist actor, it's always you know a, a luxury to be able to to go against someone that is also you know physically prepared. You know, because you can just go for it you know you'll feel the adrenaline you'll feel the impacts like people will see that on screen that that, that comes across differently you know when when you you re, when you're really going for it yeah so I, I think that comes through even in the clip that we were just yeah. showing there just that clip that scene with you and dave man it looks intense it looks slick stylish fun um jj i need to ask you why do you think people should come out and see this movie so many action movies out there uh today why would we pick this one to check out Listen, it's a great date night movie because it is a love story that uh, and a comedy. So it has it's like a, it has a lot of different layers. It's not uh, it's not it is over the top fun, but it is a date night movie. So romantic. It's like a rom com on steroids. Yeah. So <laughs> fasten your seat belts and enjoy the ride. I love that. Sign we me will. Up. Thank you so much for joining us today, taking the time to visit. We appreciate it. Thank you guys. Yes. You. Yeah, for sure, Ben. That looks like a lot of fun. I'm, I want to go. See I'm going to go. Let's get tickets. Uh, let's go. Yes. <laughs>